Hey guys, so we set up our page, we have our logo in place, we have everything in place. We started to set up scarcity and social proof so that way we can start advertising the product that we want and selling our kitchen supplies from AliExpress on our Shopify store. Now the last thing we really need to do in order to start driving sales is turn on Facebook ads. And to turn on Facebook ads, you have to do a few things. First, you have to set up the ad manager account, which we did, and set up the pixel on Shopify, which is extremely important. Then you need to make a Facebook page, which I've done here. Very basically, I took the logo and a picture there from Pexel and put it on the Facebook page, so that way we have a place that the advertisements can come from. And over time, if you start becoming successful, you should definitely be updating these pages with information so if people click through, they see that this is an active account. And then finally, we need to go over to the ad manager. Um, as you know, we were on the ad manager before. We are on Kitchen Up with the pixel number we have right here. And this is basically how we set up our first advertisement. Now, I would highly recommend you guys looking at more YouTube videos on Facebook advertisements, and I will have more in my channel and on Udemy. But for a very simple start, we want to spend about five to ten dollars a day. And guys, this is going to take a week or two weeks to start really getting these to work properly and you need to test and learn and keep going. Don't just try once. If it doesn't work, and give up. But the first thing we need to do is drive traffic to our page. And the way I usually drive traffic to our page for to our pages is through consideration as a marketing objective and under consideration traffic. And when this is basically getting people to click. And as people start clicking, we build a pixel on the site that we can retarget these individuals with through, through Facebook as well. So the first one we're going to do traffic consideration that drives people to the page and then we're going to do conversions through pixels which I'll show you in a second. Um, but let's start with traffic. Now you saw that everything is set up properly with the page. We have everything here as we need it. The only stocked with 12 left, the countdown timer and the beautiful picture is very simple and easy for people to read. Um, I'm actually going to copy this URL right now. I think it's extremely important when we do these advertisements to drive directly to a product page. So go back to the ads manager. We're going to call this traffic to kitchen up. Okay. And that will go, oops, sorry, you have to finish filling this out for us. So you'll get this the first time in New York. And let's hit continue. Okay, and now that we've done that, we are going to select, we're choosing traffic to your destination, which is a website. If you built a mobile application like an iPhone app, you, that's also an option. Um, we don't have a custom audience or lookalike audience. Custom audiences you can build in the audience insight tool, which you can find right here. Or you do lookalike audiences by importing emails and Facebook will find emails that are similar to that and will build an audience for you. Now I'm not going to target Thailand. The reason this keeps coming up is because I'm in Thailand right now. And we're going to go United States. We're going to target the US. I'm going to go higher than 18. I'm probably going towards 25. And up all uh, languages. We're going to do English. Um, targeting demo. Now you could do anything in here like kitchen. Um, for example, you could put that as a keyword. You could do uh, recipes, kitchenware, all these things to make your audience. Um, you could also do magazines, for example. So people with a certain magazine audience you could put in here, and that will build an audience around kitchens as well. Home and Garden and other magazines might be something um, you want to target. For example, here's Home and Garden. Um, so you can build your detailed targeting audience. Now, what I would recommend doing if you want to build a detailed targeting audience is on YouTube, type in audience insight tool and go to your audio insight tool and build out a complete audience based off your niche. If your niche is kitchens, your niche is pets, so on and so forth, and save an audience like that. Um, we are going to save the audience here. Um, we can call it the audience kitchen up baseline or base. And um, finally, we are going to do, don't, I wouldn't click automatic placement. The reason why I want to do automatic placement right now is because Facebook ads audience network. Uh, and I'm not a huge fan of it. I think 
we really need to focus on the feed. Um, you can do right column, but feed and Instagram and leave this alone. This usually will say you'll reach like 11% less people, um, but that's perfectly fine. For a daily budget, I would do, you can do as low as five. Um, I usually do about 10 before we start scaling. So that's a daily budget of 10, and you can do a lifetime budget, for example, of let's say you want to do one week, I would recommend always doing two, so seven, uh, 140, and you start today, and you end two weeks from now, which would be like the 14th, for example. Um, and let's add a zero to that. Cool. So that is our lifetime budget. This is when it will start today. You'll see on the right who we're targeting. This is the estimated reach we're going to get per day on Facebook, 1,000 to 400 to 3,000 people every day. And the same on Instagram. It's going to be a balance of those two. So a good amount of reach. Then you hit continue here. We go to the next page, and um, this is where you actually create the ad. We can do a single image. You could do a video, um, which is really cool if you have a video asset. It's usually cheaper as well. Or a carousel, which gives you more than one picture. I don't recommend a carousel. I recommend single image or single video. You can upload a video directly from, or a picture directly from your computer. And let's see, did I download any ones that I like? Here's a product image. And that might not be the right size, but we'll see. Then I'm going to go over to Kitchen App right here on our Facebook page. So you want to make sure that we have, um, that you have the Facebook page that you created here. Uh, also, you can see the image came up. We can uh, change that by going here. And see, it's not the best image. I actually would recommend changing this image to be able to fit in the picture so people have a complete view of the image itself. So I would Photoshop that usually, but for since we're just walking through this, um, it's completely fine. And um, then you have the page selected. Now you go back here, you want to choose the URL of the product and type that in here. Okay, so that will go right there and now um, when people click out, it will go directly to your product page. Also, instead of um, doing learn now, I usually do shop now so people know that they're buying something when they click. The headline can be um, kitchen up uh, orange peeler or so on. Um, whatever you want. Or it could be kitchen up products. You can name this whatever you want, very specific on what you're trying to sell them. Uh, this great orange peeler and I will change the way you look at fruit. <laughs> Once again guys, I would look up advertisements and um, similar things to what you're selling on Facebook and online and make sure you copy and build text that you believe is going to sell this product. I'm just going through this very quickly and you can put in a news description as well. Um, on sale now for a limited time. Get yours today. Something like that. And then the display link right here, I just change it to Kitchen Up instead of the full link that you see. So that will change directly to Kitchen Up. And then you are good to go. Track from my Facebook Pixel. Make sure you click on that. You'll see that it selected your Facebook Pixel right there. And uh, let me just put this in really quick. Sorry www.kitchenup.com, something like that, okay? And then you can place your order, guys, as simple as that. And um, Facebook will review your order. Once it's approved, it will start delivering your Facebook advertisements and your pixel, as people click through, will start building up its own audience of people that have looked at your page so we can retarget later on. And um, you can go back into the Facebook ads account after you're done when these 
as this is running and it'll tell you what your cost per click is. Mine in India have gone from 0.1 cent, so a penny, um, one penny all the way up to 20 cents in the US. So you'll get a range of how much it costs and you can turn on and off advertisements as you go. Test and learn guys, keep trying new advertisements, run multiple advertisements at the same time to see what's working and what's not working and that will help you determine ultimately what is selling and not selling your product. The end goal is to break even on your ads because you'll start building a mail list and a conversion pixel which will allow you to determine and sell other products, upsell products and so on. So that's the basics to Facebook. Um, I'm going to jump over to setting up a conversion in the next video and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, talk to you guys in a second.